Well, hi there. Do you like Rubik's Cube magic? You do? Well, too bad. We're gonna do a card trick today. And this trick is... I'm trying to think of what I wanna call it. This is the super, ultra mind reading, insane trick of awesomeness combined with a touch of mind reading. Trick. Now with this trick, you will be able to read someone's mind. That's right. And even though this trick is extremely powerful and it amazes audiences, it's still extremely easy to do. Now what is this holy trick that you... Now what is this holy trick that you speak of, Jan? Well, you will see, just wait. You're about to see a full performance that I did. I'm just gonna put it on mute. You're gonna see a full performance right now. So today I went to film a TikTok video at Hooters, which you know everybody knows. Vian is the Hooter magician, which doesn't sound as cool as I thought it would. But yeah, so if you think this guy's just gonna tell me this trick is awesome, but he's got no proof, look at this reaction. Look at what an awesome trick this actually is. And bear in mind, this is done with just a deck of cards. Roll the video. What's your name? It's Lola. Lola. Okay. So Lola, they're not all the same, right? Yes. Okay. 52 cards. I want you to think of one of them. So I'm just gonna go through the cards like this, and you just say stop anyway. So here we go. Okay, you wanna go more? Are you happy no, there? I'm happy. Remember that card, okay? Good. Hold your hands for me like this. I'm gonna put the cards there. Now I'm gonna try to read your mind. Okay, so don't forget the cards. Right, here we go. Right, so you have to look at me and you have to put on your best portrait. Okay, cool. So, don't answer me at all, okay? Unless... Okay, hang on. I'll tell you when you can answer me. just think... I think it's black, red, black, red. So you blinked on red. So I'm going to say it's not a red card, it's a black card, correct? Alright, cool. Now you can answer, right? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, try not to give it away. Now I have to figure out if it's high or low. But first, let's go Slade Club, Slade Club, Slade Club. You smile when I say Spade, which I think you're trying to be more confident. You're trying to throw me off. So I'm going to say it's a Spade, am I right? Alright, cool. That's still a 1 in 4 chance. Alright. <laughs> now is the difficult one. I have to go Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, and King. Will you look at me one more time? Try to keep a straight face. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, three, king. You blinked a little at the early numbers, but I don't. I'm gonna try again. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, three, king. I think at the end you're too calm because you're trying to be calm. So I'm gonna say nine, ten, jack. I'm gonna say it's a ten of spades. Did I get it? Yes, you did. Awesome. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so. All you need for this trick is a deck of cards. That's all you need, uh, as I've said 70,000 times. So if you couldn't figure it out already, this trick is complete lies. I can't really read minds. I, I can't even, when I tell her I see she blinks, I mean she blinked for everything, I had no idea. The sleight of hand is very minimum. I'm going to give you a close up so you can actually see every single move. Uh, the move we're going to use is called a peek. And uh, before you think that it's something stupid, like literally just peeking over your shoulder, forget it, it's not that. Anyways, let's get onto the cards. So I thought today I would use my Monarchs deck. Uh, this is the same deck they used in Now You See Me. Uh, and of course, you know, if I've got the cards, I've got the same skills, you know, I mean, I look at this, I can shoot a card out and, well, make it disappear. So here's the move, right? All you need to do is to try and peek a card, uh, the one that they stop on. So this is not a force. You don't stop um, at a certain uh, place that you want them to stop. They can really stop anywhere they want. It's that cool, right? Make sure you show them before you do this trick that all the cards are different. You can't say, look, every card's there because who the heck has that memory? So I make it clear that not all of the cards are just the same, right? Otherwise, the trick could just be the deck is all the same card. So always remember that. So you show them your cards and you, you brag about, you know, your nice Monarchs deck. And then you basically just tell them I'm about to read your mind. Or whatever you feel like saying. Now, the secret behind this trick is to, to really 
you know, make it bigger than the trick itself. You don't want to just be like, you got your card? All right, cool, uh, five of diamonds, that sucks. You really want to make it seem like, you know, like there's no cards, like you're asking them to just think of a card and somehow you can read their mind. So that's, that's the way you should look at doing this trick. All right, so here's the secret move called the peak, which I'll think of a better name, okay. All right, so basically what you do is you're gonna hold the cards like this, you're gonna point it to them and you're going to riffle and they say stop. Now the way you do this is uh, very strategic. You can't just hold the deck like this and make them say stop or whatever, because you've gotta remember this part of the deck doesn't have pips. There's no pips there, you can't, you can't see what card it is. So if you hold the deck in your left hand like you naturally would, you're just going to tilt it up towards them so they're standing in front of me. And then here on the side, so basically I'm holding it in this grip, it's called the dealer's grip. You could also hold it like this if that feels more comfortable for you, but I'm just gonna hold it like this, okay. Now, what you're going to do, the cards are facing them, so you're gonna tell them, I want you to say stop somewhere, right? And then you riffle through. Now, bear in mind, if the cards are like this, square, they're not gonna be able to see because all the other cards are in front. What you wanna do is kinda push the cards with your uh, thumb, meat here, you just wanna kinda of push it to the side. It's not that difficult. You literally just lift the cards, push to the side. I'm making everything sound so technical, but it's super easy. Guys, all I'm saying is hold the cards and show it to them, okay? Now when you have that little bit of a push, the cards are now at an angle, which means if you riffle through, you can actually see them, okay? Get it? All right, cool. So now here's what you do. You show them the cards, you say I want you to, and you look away. You don't look here you look away because people might think the cards are marked on the back and you're seeing that somewhere, which makes no sense, but people do that anyway. So what you do is you riffle through the cards, you say, just say stop anyway. Now don't do this. Oh, you didn't say stop. You know, don't, don't do that because you really wanna milk the fact that they can say stop anywhere. So you can even say to them, you know, you can say stop at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end, or whatever, right? So you go, you say, just say stop somewhere, they say stop, or they say stop here or wherever. Now, once they say stop, I always ask them, do you wanna go more? That way they know they could have had a different card. Okay, so otherwise they're just gonna think it's the same card every time. Some people do think that way. You don't have to do it, I like to do it, okay. So I'm riffling, they say stop, I show them the card. Now the way I do this is very important because this is where the move comes in. There's only one move, it's very easy. So you're holding the cards, you're riffling through them like this. They say stop. Now, because I have all these fingers here, when they say stop, I'm just going to move those cards out the way so they can see it. So, from this side, it's gonna look like this. I'm saying, just say stop somewhere, they say stop, I show them the card, right? So I'm just moving the cards out of the way a little bit with all these fingers. Now, here's where the move comes in. So here's what it looks like from the front. You say, just say stop somewhere, they say stop, you say, all right, remember that card, you got it, I'm looking away, right? I'm looking away, eyes closed, they say yeah, and then I do this. That is the secret move right there. Now you might think, well, what is it? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you, you wasted all your time watching this video, I'm totally kidding, no. Here's how I do it. I'm riffling through like that, they remember their card. Wow, I think it's the queen again. But anyways, it can be any card, like let's say, ah, come on, it can be any card, I swear guys. So you go through, they say stop, they remember it. Now look at this, look at where my pinky is. It's holding these cards, right? Because I'm just moving it out the way. And then as I just shoot with this index finger, my pinky is going to hold the place. You don't have to go in like this, it just automatically does that. Just kind of push your pinky there so the meat of your pinky is over the, the, this part and then you just literally go and look at that, it looks like I closed the deck but my pinky is actually holding exactly where that was. So to give you another look at that, I'm holding the deck, I go through, I show them the card, so I'm just moving it with my fingers and making sure my pinky is there. If your pinky is here, of course it's not gonna hold, right? If it's here, it's not gonna work. You just need it a little bit over so the meat here is a little bit over like that. Then, I don't do that, that's very weird, right? Who closes a deck like that? I do this, they look at the card and I continue to riffle, right? Because the cards themselves will 
fall back to the front. The way I do that also is you push with your thumb, I just noticed. So you riff or stop, hold with your pinky, let go. I'm pushing with my thumb to keep everything nice and square because you don't want them to see that gap. Now remember, the more your pinky is inside, the bigger that gap's gonna be. Look at that. That's, I mean, that's the Grand Canyon, right? You don't wanna do that. You wanna go like this. Remember that card. You need a little bit of your pinky to do that. You can even play around. Like, try to get as little of your pinky to hold there as possible. But of course, if you wanna be safe, you know, just make sure you got a good, decent amount of pinky. There can be a little bit of a gap here at the bottom because your fingers are covering that. Now, here's the next move, right? I asked them to hold out their hands, right? Remember, I looked away. They hold out their hands. And now what I'm gonna do to me and everybody else, the deck is right here, right? It's face down. I ask them to hold out their hands and I put the deck down like this. Well, that was a little fishy. That was a little fishy. Let me not do that, right? Because I'm holding it so much. They remember the card, hold your hand. I put the cards in their hand and that was the peak. I just saw the card. Let me explain. I literally just turned the deck around like this and there you go. I can glimpse that it's the king of diamonds and then I put it in their hand. So that's very important. That's the only move you really need to know because I over explained everything else. Basically you hold with your pinky. You got your grip, right? They have their hand here. Now when I turn the deck around, I turn it towards me. So I'm flipping it over like this with my thumb here coming down. It automatically does that, okay? It automatically does that. Let me explain. So when you have the grip, when you turn your hand around, because now your thumb is, this part is keeping it square, but your pinky wants to move the top half to the side. So when you turn it around, you see how it moves the top side to the side? I can glimpse the jack of clubs as I place it in their hand. So one last time, they say stop. Remember that card? There you go, right? So it's, it's super easy. Like I can do that so many times in a row. They say stop, put it there, six of clubs, right? And that's, that's all you need to do. And yes, I did realize that the camera was here the whole time while I was actually just talking and not showing you anything else. But that's beside the point. So the way I do this is I just say, okay, look at me. I'm gonna try to figure out what the card is, okay? And I say, put on a poker face because now the trick doesn't become you're guessing their card. It becomes you are testing how good their poker face is. So I'm saying, okay, it's a black card, red card, black card, red card, black card, I'm like, Okay, I saw a little blink. Pay attention to what they do. If they blink on the black card, say, and you know it's a black card, say, oh, you blinked on the black card, you gave it away. If they blink on the black card, but it's a red card, just say, oh, you blinked on the black card, which means I'm guessing it's a red card because you were very calm when I said black card that you blinked, the other one you were trying to keep your poker face. And suddenly they're like, okay, I gotta stop doing stuff. And they just keep a straight face. Now the trick becomes a thousand times better because they know they're not giving anything away yet you're still getting it. So now I go, let's say it's a red card, right? I go hearts, diamonds, hearts, diamonds. And I'm like, I'm gonna say diamonds, right? Or whatever you wanna say. If they do something, act on that, right? Be like, oh, I think you're a little too calm, right? And, or when they're, when they're twitching, be like, okay, that twitch was a little weird. I think you're trying to throw me off when I say spade. So I'm gonna say it's a club, you know what I mean? So that's what you do, that's what you do, right? You try to capitalize that for you. Now the last part, of course, all you do is you say, well, you know, I could have still had a one in four guess because there is only clubs, spades, hearts, or diamonds. And he's like, now let's get to the hard part, right? I'm gonna say everyone, ace, two, three, four. It's like, keep a poker face. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. And I pretend like I'm struggling. I'm like, ace, two, let's say it's the queen of hearts, right? I go, ace, two, three, four, five. I'm like, I think it's one of the lower ones. And then I'm like, no, no, I think you're trying to throw me off. I just think you're very relaxed at the first few. I'm gonna say it's higher, very high, and you're gonna be like, Jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king. And you're like, it's the queen of hearts. And then everybody freaks out. So to those who stopped watching the video when I was explaining the card part, you got a much worse trick than the guys who actually finished watching this video. So good for you, you guys deserve an applause. So yeah guys, if you want to learn some more magic, be sure to subscribe, like this video, share it with someone so they can learn a magic trick as well. I am taking YouTube very seriously as you guys can see. So a subscribe would mean a lot. Please do it. And that's it for today's video. I will see you guys again tomorrow or whenever, probably tomorrow, because I'm gonna upload every day. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next video.